Hi, welcome to another edition of On The Fly. I'm your host, Eric, and with me today, I've got an old friend returning to Revenue River, Keith Reynolds. Keith? Hello there, how are you? Welcome, buddy. Yeah, thanks, good to see you. Good to have you back. Um, so you and I go way back. Uh, take me back. When did we first uh, meet and under what pretense? Four or five years ago, we met at the social gathering out on the uh, trade show floor for Inbound. Met at Inbound. I Inbound. Think you okay. might have had a booth there. Yeah, probably not. No, uh, I've never had an inbound. We were booth, hanging out in somebody's yeah, booth. I, th then. I think that was we were hanging out at the bar, if I, if I, uh, <laughs> if I remember right. Okay, so we met at inbound yeah. at that time. Were were you a HubSpot partner? Yep. Okay, so former HubSpot partner. Yep. And today we're going to talk about uh, I think your new book, right? Yeah, that's right. We got a new book. Keith Reynolds just published a book, folks. It is called The New Content Culture. Correct. Yep. All right. So this book is uh, who's this book for? This book is for. Uh, managers, uh, marketing managers, and general managers within a company, for entrepreneurs, and for agencies. It's a, it's a content development experience. Good. So content development experience. Um, walk me through that a little bit. What do you mean by that? What, uh, I mean, people hear content this, content that, content sure. is king, content is dead, content marketing, inbound marketing, a million different things around that. Right. Help me crystallize uh, the application of this book. Sure. So. You know, in a world where uh, you've got four billion people on the internet and you probably only need 50 of them to make your numbers, mm -hmm. right? You want to connect your content to the objective that you're trying to achieve for putting your business online. Okay. So this is a way to align your company with your audience and to come up using a, a publisher's mentality to, to come up with a way to build that audience and monetize it. Okay, so a, a, a publisher's mindset yeah. to reaching an ideal client profile, basically, there like you reaching your ideal audience. Yes. Um, how, inside the book, how do you lay that out? Like, what's the structure of that? Uh, so uh, you have to uh, put your uh, objectives uh, in a very clear manner. So define every, your business objectives. De define your business objectives. Uh, you have to. Um, develop a strategy and put the team together mm -hmm. and then you get to you get the team to work on an ongoing basis to achieve the goal sure and that's somehow related to content i think and, and it is related to content because uh what you're doing is building an audience and then having it connect into your your sales and marketing uh activities so that you actually close business okay and so it's the, a closed loop system gotcha and the book provides like a framework for that's implementation correct. and helps you walk in through that that's correct so if i'm someone who wants to get more serious about creating a content strategy that's going to reach and resonate with my audience and also produce out you point fully connected back into bringing me leads and clients in the door yep. because of it yep. this is a framework in order to just sophisticate those efforts or that's maybe just uh, uh design them from scratch right that, that's correct Okay. On the back here, it says the publisher's MO is compromised of seven plus seven buckets. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Absolutely. So uh, I've just broken down the uh, getting your strategy together uh, and getting your team on board into two separate discussions. Okay. So seven on strategy and seven on team. Am I understanding That's that correctly? That's exactly it. Okay. And the seven on strategy are a big idea, North Star idea, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, with that, so you might pick a title uh, instead of saying blog, actually give your, your content a title, mm -hmm. brand your content like a magazine would or like a TV show. Uh, or something on Netflix. And I think you had some experience doing this stuff before. I That's think right. through the years that we've known each other, you've also done some, you've done some of this yes. previously, right? Basically building a, a, a B2B trade publication for a brand that uh, either had its own website or hung mm -hmm. off uh, the corporate website. So a B2B trade publication is a little bit different than putting blog in the top navigation That's of right. your website. Why? Well, I think it gives the whole team a new way to think about their content being of interest to their audience. I mean, you, if you are being part of the conversation and offering thought leadership with your content um, and then putting on uh, events or attending events and then nurturing the people that you meet at events for online events, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, this is the way Forbes, you know, as a media 
company operates. Sure. This is what brands are doing. The worlds are, are coming together. Okay. And I think what's been missing is how do you value as a brand building yourself a, a media company? What is the ROI model for mm -hmm. this? Mm -hmm. And so I've really tried to build that framework to help the C-suite understand what's happening with all the media production. Very so good, so there's a solid piece of like education and context and, and, and really hammering into the why and the just what's going on, uh, uh, the forces that be that are that are causing this change and stuff like that yeah, as well. Yeah. So it helps you build the case for that too. So if I'm a CMO trying to get the CEO to invest in this, yes. a book, a piece like this would, would uh, be appropriate for in, them. In fact, uh, I have a spreadsheet model that I've used at the board level to talk about how incremental growth of X that produces using our own sales funnel numbers mm -hmm. that produces Y, which is a, a reasonable, right? We'd expect. Sure, everybody group, wants right? to know the Y, yeah. So let's do something that we all agree is reasonable, okay. and and then fund it. And you know, if you if you run for a couple quarters, it's not like you've bet the whole farm to do it. Sure, right? so there's ability to get some proof of concept in yeah, place maybe exactly. to, to limit risk and things like yeah. that. All right, so let's people go fight for some budgets and stuff yeah, like exactly. that. You got some action plans, some ideas, uh, the framework and stuff. Let's get back to that seven and seven a little bit and, and, and help me understand what yep. those are. Um, uh, so the seven on strategy are what? The seven on strategy are, uh, you have to have a North Star idea. Yep. You have to have an editorial strategy to support the big idea. Okay. What is the content that's going to get us there? And then have a calendar for how mm -hmm. you're going to roll it mm -hmm. out. You need to have publishing and distribution of your content, right? So sure. you're going to then uh, put it on your blog and then tell uh, networks you belong to that it exists and you're going to have conversations out share there. Share with the, the world. Share it with the world, okay. but you want people coming back to your That network. makes sense. Yeah. I'm following. Uh, and in, in addition to the digital world, you have community and events. And you want to really make sure that the database you're operating for community and events, attending trade shows or whatever it is mm -hmm. you're doing in, in your physical world marketing is connected to the digital marketing that you're doing. Makes sense. Tying your traditional and digital together. Yep. And um, uh, then all of that comes in. You need marketing automation. Right, which is where you and I met. So you've got to have. I don't disagree with that, Keith. You need lots and lots of marketing automation, <laughs> okay. there, right, Eric? Absolutely, a very sophisticated <laughs> communication system. It is um, it? to personalize and contextualize that communication, make people feel like they're not being spammed to death and stuff like that. That's exactly. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Good. How, I lost count. Is that five or six? Where so we? we're at we're at uh, four. We got three more. So oh. we have a an ROI model. Okay. Uh, we've got to know what our ROI model is to do this. CEO is going to want to know that. I want to know that. Why we're going to invest in all the technology mm -hmm. to make it happen. What can we expect to get out of it? What does success and failure look like? Exactly. Then we, uh, once it gets approved, we've got to have a plan for our sales team. How are they involved with it, right? Do they know mm -hmm. what we're publishing? Are they using it in their you know, prospecting activities? Are we involving them in social? And you know, have we figured out how that all ties together? Sure. Ideally, that should be pretty aligned, right? Yep. Like a lot of the collateral that you that the you, this team would produce would equip and empower the salespeople yep. with maybe assets that they don't already have. Yep. Okay. And then the last one is the the ROI model itself. What is it that we're trying to accomplish, and how many is it going to take to mm -hmm. do it so mm -hmm. that we get the return our, our investors or our owners. Sure, a little goal setting time. on the backside to make sure that uh, you, you've defined that. Yep. Okay, yep. That, that makes sense. Now talk to me on the team side. What, uh, what sort of uh, team does it take to pull off a, a strategy like this? So it's, um, you know, it's very much a, a, a tool set, these next seven buckets are a tool set to help you uh, get your team operating on a cyclical basis. I mean, this is marketing is a 24/7 operation now, right? Doesn't mean you have to be awake 24/7, mm -hmm. but you're planning for system needs to serve your audience 24/7. Serve your audience 24/7. Mm -hmm. And so uh, you have to do the programming of your content and that means you're, you I read in your book, you know, about the multi multidisciplinary nature of teams that it takes to produce all this stuff, for right? For sure. So, um, this is a way to get the, if you're an in-house agency and you might have a couple freelance writers and then mm -hmm. you have your, your agency, um, a marketing firm and maybe a digital agency that are supporting you, then you've got your IT department, mm -hmm. right? There's yep. a lot so of- you got your sales team you as well. Your sales team. 
So you want to set up a framework where everyone's focused in, as in traditional strategy. You know, where are we going? What is, what is the context in which we Get operate? Get all your vectors aligned and pointed in the same direction, yep. of course. Yep. Um, and everybody's developing content with the same understanding of the truth of what market we're in, what we're trying to accomplish, how are we doing it. Yeah, right? that sounds like a very large team potentially to me. And my concern there is like, what if I have a smaller team? Can I, can I execute a strategy like this if I'm only a team of one, two, or three people? Uh, is that possible for smaller companies maybe to uh, adopt and embrace I, this? I think that you can do this with you know an outline, if you go through the basic questions of strategy, mm -hmm. uh, even if you're one or two people on your team, you can organize your thoughts so that the content you start to produce, which might be a blog once a month and a, and a you know a white paper. Sure. Or so size like and that. pace can be correlated to goals and and, and resources. resources and assets yeah. available. Yep. So that would be the other question I have. Uh, team to team sounds like there's a lot of flexibility in size and and sophistication complexity of your team. Yep. But whatever that team is, you got to have them aligned. Um, on the other side, let's talk budgets and stuff like that. Now, if I'm a CMO of a, a you know two billion dollar company mm -hmm. going into fight for for a budget with a big idea, um, that's a little bit different than a smaller that, application. That is, yep. um, uh, is this something that takes a quarter million dollars minimum to get in the game? We talked about proof of concept. Like, I, what do you think investment looks like? Can you just roll up your sleeves? Are you going to have some hard costs? Like, what would people expect? A lot of questions. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's one great big question. <laughs> How much does this crap cost? It costs. Um, it it's scalable, and it and you should be looking using the principles in this book to understand how much it makes sense to invest. Mm -hmm. Right? If you've got 14 salespeople, that's a different situation than if you've got sure. three salespeople. Sure. And and if you've got a global force of salespeople, but the principles are this are the same. Very, very important. It's principle based and it's very scalable. So whether you're a team of one or a team of a hundred, right. the concepts in this book can be applied. Right. And what I, what I found is that if you're a if you're if you know this stuff, it's a good way to explain to people who are not on your program yet, right? Sure. And if you if you didn't know it and you just had heard about social media and content and SEO, right? It organizes it in a framework that marketers understand. It's mm -hmm. not trying to to teach uh, agile, right? A new a new vocabulary. Sure, this sure. It's used. intuitive enough to be able to pick up. So, yeah. uh, if I was a average to slow reader, how long do you think it would take me to read this book? Um, I would say it's a you know it's a Saturday morning book. Saturday morning book, so like yeah. probably a couple days for me then. <laughs> uh, so a pretty light, easy read, yes. uh, not too heavy. If I wanted to find this book, where would I find it at? Uh, you'd find it on Amazon. Uh, you can Google or search on Amazon the new content culture and my name, mm -hmm. Keith Reynolds. Mm -hmm. The new content. Yeah, culture. we'll have that somewhere at the bottom of the screen for everybody, I think. Uh, good. Okay, yeah. so, and if uh, uh, somebody wants to reach out to you, are you approachable? Absolutely. Um, I have a, uh, my, my vision was to grow from my agency experience and really become sort of a training mm -hmm. and development and uh, consulting company. Okay. And use these principles to help people learn. So you can reach me at my company website, which is Publio. P U B L I dot I O. Which is also on the back of the book, I see. It is on the back of the book. Okay. Publio so reach you through your website. Yep. Uh, I imagine you're out there on social media, so I could probably do a search on LinkedIn or you something could. like that. And uh, if they say, hey, Eric sent me or something like that, you'll treat them extra special, right? Absolutely. Um, okay, good. On, you know what? So some help, some advice, uh, a cup of coffee. Tell me when this airs, make, you can get the book for free on Amazon for 24 hours. Whoa, for your did audience. I hear that right for your now? Audience. 24 hour window yep. for the day get this, the book for free. The day we'll coordinate drops, ahead of time. We we'll promote the crap out of this then. Awesome. All right, and good surprise, deal. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, that's a really good surprise. <laughs> uh, I will expect my free copy uh, as well. Signed. Um, signed. I get a signed one. And if yeah. somebody wants to get their uh, uh, their book signed, they can certainly reach out to you and pick you up really somewhere. nice, too. Thank you. Those are authentic. <laughs> yeah. 
very very complimentary, cool. Keith. You say all kinds of nice things about you. I really appreciate you yeah. coming in, man. Yeah, Thank you. You've been a friend of the agency for a long time, certainly a friend of mine. Um, I know you've been working on this for a while. I know yeah. you've poured your heart and soul into this. Yeah. you got some some passion in here. I also know uh, from all the stuff I've done with Keith that that Keith can, can definitely break down some value. Um, uh, he's a really sharp guy. I know he did his research here, um, and I know he's got a real a lot of real world experience and application to this. So if you want to learn Thanks. a little bit more about content from a true expert, uh, pick up this book, give it a read and reach out to Keith and uh, let us know if you have any questions. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks. Awesome. Thank Thanks you a lot, much. everybody. Take Keith, care. Pleasure to have you, buddy. Yeah, Until sure. next time, huh? Be well. All right, guys, pick it up. 24 hours. Clock starts now. See ya.